Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. OSU Extension educators from around the state are on the OSU campus this week. They're meeting, getting new ideas and planning for the future, all to better serve Oklahomans. We're having our Biennial Extension Conference where our field staff from around the state as well as our state and area specialists join for professional development. This particular event is extra exciting because we've been joined by the presidents of our fellow land-grant institutions in Oklahoma as well as the director of the National Institute of Food and Agriculture. So we're unique in Oklahoma in having land grants that were enabled by three different legislative acts, 1862 for OSU, 1890 for Langston, and 1994 for College of Muscogee Nation. So no, no other state in the nation has represented as all three land grants. As a, as a tribal college designated by the American Indian Higher Education Consortium, we are designated as a 1994 land grant institution. So the College of Muscogee Nation has been a land grant institution since 2015. So with that, we've been, as we've been establishing our campus and our degree programs and just about everything else, now we're developing our, our extension programs. You know, looking at this extension program and how we educate ourselves and, and our community on agriculture, it, it's, it's a part of who we are. It's a part of who we are as a people, you know, as a tribal college. You know, education is, is empowerment. Education is a big difference maker for our people. You know, to have these degrees, to have a, a tribal college within the state, within our reservation boundaries, is, is a great opportunity for us. But it's an opportunity for us to better forge relationships across all levels of the extension system. And so it's important for our success that our county, our area, our state staff work together to collaborate. And so the professional development that we do here is not targeted to an individual program area, but to develop our skills as professionals. And welcome everyone. It's great to have you on campus. It's really, really great to have you on campus. It's a tenuous time. I know we're all, all, all kind of on edge as far as what's safe to do and what is. Also at the meeting, the person who leads the division of the USDA that funds extension, 4-H, and ag research. So first, I was so proud to be here, um, coming from Extension, being a 4-H'er, really understanding the importance and the impact of Extension. Um, the message was a message from our federal partnership, and it's really being able to demonstrate and highlight the importance of the state, local, and federal partnership. The grassroots innovation, the ideas that come from organizations like OSU and Langston and the tribal communities, so very important. And so my message is really one of hope as well as commitment and dedication to serving extension, research, and teaching. So the first thing that we've done is, is really started at gathering feedback. So we embarked on an opportunity called Project CAFE it was a couple of years ago to really have a dialogue with our stakeholders and our partners to see how we're doing. And it kind of gave us a report card, but it really established this rapport, this opportunity to communicate and this opportunity to really listen and learn about how we can become a better federal partner. Really listen and learn, but also taking advantage of those types of opportunities to come here and be part of the discussion and really sit in the crowd in the audience and listen to the motivational speakers and listen to the important extension agents as well as the college presidents that are here to be able to represent their respective university. I had an opportunity to meet with some 4-H'ers and I asked them, what's the most important thing? What's your currency? And they said, connectivity. We really want to connect. We want to be relevant and we want to be part of the dialogue. So it's, I think it's really important that we really meet them where they are and meet them how they want to be met. So if it's technology and social platforms or if it's them teaching us how best to connect to them, we need to listen. We really need to listen. 